Some strategy nuggets, a tip about strategy. Strategy comes first, then the programs and tactics to support the strategy. Strategy is your path to achieve your aims. So strategy is freeing. A top-down agreed strategy gives you the right to say no to several time-wasting pitches. Strategy is also context dependent. No single growth strategy is universally better or superior. Tim Hortons and Starbucks both succeed but with different strategies. Few consumer packaged goods firms are ever first movers and yet they're eminently successful. Having more than one strategy is possible yet mixed messages in execution can confuse the staff and anger customers. What kinds of strategic errors are common? Small firm strategic errors tend to be not having a strategy at all or not conveying it well inside or out to staff or suppliers and partners. Everyone's busy trying to execute a miscellany of tasks, a hodgepodge of activities, and there's no synergy and staff are confused about what's vital to do, what's most vital to do, for example. First, uh, Shakespeare said, all sound and fury signifying nothing. And that tends to describe a lot of small firms that are busy trying to be successful, but strategy isn't what they're great at. Big firms tend to have a strategy and to convey it in a clear, if slick, way. But a common error for them is that corner office executives and their consultants are unaware of the frontline realities and haven't thought through what will happen if the strategy is implemented or they didn't even spec out or listen to what the frontline needs really are. They didn't provide training tools for the little people and they didn't identify metrics that will gather and check the success of the execution and stop it if something's going horribly wrong. In fact, even the metrics could be gamed or manipulated by middle managers who don't wish to out a strategy that CEO, CEO has publicly committed to. So what, even well-intentioned middle managers might stay silent rather than risk being called a naysayer or accused being not doing their part. Another common error of large companies is to have too many strategies. Uh, trying to be all things to all people creates market confusion and consent uh, and dissent. For example, the Canadian telecom carrier industry is a concentrated oligopoly. Service providers could be accused of being kind of complacent and uncaring with long-standing customers. But if a new customer appears, such as a youth getting their first new phone or a newcomer to Canada, all three telecoms pursue that new customer, falling over themselves, courting them. We know that the telecoms want to retain current customers, the bulk of their business, but their aggressive desire to lure these new customers is a little bit in conflict with that. If a long-standing customer hears of the sweet deals new customers are being offered, they feel betrayed and some just quit because once they quit, they appear as a prospect again in the database of new customers and are once again courted with the best deals. Where do we draw the line between strategy and tactics? Strategy is where we're going, the path. Tactics are components of how you get there. In other words, individual programs. We analyze both. For example, it's a strategic decision whether to focus on current customer retention or new user acquisition. But it's a tactical decision whether to offer five air miles on a promotion or 10 air miles. 